The bombings last week happened in Boston, but the intensity of the blast was certainly felt all the way here at Stony Brook as well. People all over the world have been following this sad and at times scary story. It all started last Monday when two homemade bombs claimed the lives of three and injured nearly 200 people. For Stony Brook student Anusha Mukherjee, a Boston native, the news hit hard. Seeing the streets that you grow up on, um, I live about 10, 15 minutes away. So seeing these streets, you know, you grow up on them, you're very familiar with them. And just to see something like that happening to a, your hometown is just very upsetting. Chechen brothers Tamerlan and Jokar Sarniev became the suspects of one of the largest manhunts in history. The older brother Tamerlan was shot and killed during a police shootout after murdering an MIT officer hours earlier. Jokar was on the run most of the day until police found him Friday night in Watertown, hiding in a local resident's boat. The marathon bombing shook long-distance runners all over the world, including Stony Brook's own Greta Stranger. Well, it's scary because the running community is one of the, it's like really supportive and people are working really hard to like accomplish a goal. It's a very positive environment and then you would never expect something to happen in such, in that kind of situation. So it, it is scary. The Dean of oh Students God. Office personally made phone calls to those on campus who have loved ones in Boston. While many students weren't aware of the university reaching out, the act spoke volumes to the community. Wow, I think that's uh, really impressive. I. I wouldn't have thought anyone would take the time out to do something, such a grand gesture like that. Students were extremely concerned, not just because of the attack, but because the suspect was a student at a state university just like this one. A few nights ago, at this fountain, students gathered to remember those that lost their lives, limbs, and spirits in the Boston attack. I actually attended the candlelight vigil, I think, uh, what, Wednesday night. And I think that was an event that was very necessary and I was just so happy that you know a few students took the time to organize that event. It was hosted by Stony Brook Compliments as a way for students to mourn the tragedy. So I'm here to pay my respects uh, in tribute to the victims of the uh, bombing at the Boston Marathon, uh, both those killed as well as the injured and uh, also we shouldn't forget the people who came in came to the rescue on the site and were able to respond so quickly in such a firm manner. As everyone continues to recover from this horrific event, one thing's for sure, Seawolves will remain Boston strong. For Stony Brook News, I'm Danny Kleppinger.